double-crested cormorant versus neotropic cormorant. Can you tell the difference? The double-crested and neotropic cormorants have overlapping ranges, so you might be confused between the two. But don't worry, I've got some super secret hints to help you distinguish them. First of all, the double-crested cormorant is 81 centimeters in length, which is much larger than the 66 centimeters of the neotropic cormorant. This can help you if you see both of them. This actually happened to me once, when a neotropic cormorant flew off course and actually spent some time in Ottawa. Here you can see that the neotropic cormorant is truly a lot smaller. But what if you're not good at gauging the size of the bird? After all, the mind can play tricks on you when you've been birding for hours without food or water. What do you do then? Then you look at the face. While both birds have yellow skin patches on their face, these are not the same in both birds. In the double-crested cormorant, there is a strong yellow above the eye, and just below that there is a slightly dark stripe. In the neotropic cormorant, there is only a faint yellow or no yellow at all surrounding the eye. This difference in facial patterns is also useful if you're looking at juveniles, because they also have this distinction. The neotropic cormorant also often has a white outline at the base of the bill, which is especially strong in the breeding phase. But sometimes on younger individuals, this white outline is not very strong at all, or hardly visible. And speaking of the breeding phases, the double-crested cormorant in the breeding phase has wispy black crests on top of its head, whereas the neotropic cormorant has wispy plumes on its face. So now it's quiz time. Which bird is this? You've got five seconds. The bird on the left is the neotropic cormorant. You can tell because it's got the white outline at the base of the bill, and also it does not have any strong yellow around its eye. The one on the right does, and so the bird on the right is the double-crested cormorant. I hope these tips help you tell the difference between the double-crested cormorant and the neotropic cormorant, but if they don't, take a trip to the north of Canada and observe bears instead.